Imagine having access to over 100 million ethically sourced and real IP addresses from 195 plus countries. That's the power of a residential proxy. Today, we'll explore how these digital chameleons are secret weapons for data collection and web scraping. First and foremost, let's tackle the question most of you are probably here to answer. What is proxy server? Simply put, it's an intermediary between your device and the internet. There are many different types of proxies, with residential proxies basically just being a very effective one. The main reason of these proxies is that they use real IP addresses assigned to devices like home computers or mobile phones, which enhances speed and reliability. Some proxies, like data center ones, are fast, but they're detected quicker than residential ones due to their limited anonymity. Data center proxies can be understood as a simple disguise, while a residential proxy is a highly detailed anatomical mask, making your real identity undetectable. This is why residential proxies can be used for more complex tasks than their peers. Web scraping, market research, and collecting competitor data are all possible use cases. But of course, premium effectiveness costs premium cash. So how do you choose the right residential proxy without wasting money? Well, wonder no more because I gathered all the important criteria to help you choose the best residential proxies. Bandwidth capacity and latency are the very first things I'd recommend looking at. These affect the amount of data you can transfer and how fast it transfers between the user's device and the internet. This is especially important for handling large tasks. So my advice in short, aim for the highest available bandwidth and for low latency. Providers like ProxyMash may impose different limits on bandwidth capacity and latency based on the plan you get. But there are also outliers like Oxy Labs, which offers unlimited bandwidth and a market leading response time. So if you're in the market for a fast proxy, remember that name. Or you can simply go straight to the provider from the description below and save some money with our discount while you're at it. Another essential criteria to consider is a residential proxy's geographical pool and targeting capabilities. Unlike VPNs, speed and residential proxies depends not only on the number of available locations and servers, but also on how precisely you can target them. With a residential proxy, you can target specific locations much more precisely than just by selecting a country. For example, by using zip codes or even even geographic coordinates. However, if a residential proxy does not have precise location targeting, you'll get IPs from all over the country, leading to rerouting and slower speeds. That's why it's key to select yours based on all three factors, server count, country coverage, and targeting options. So when choosing your residential proxy, be sure to consider both the number of servers and locations as well as the targeting options. For your convenience, you can see important information for the leading providers on screen right now, like the number of residential IPs, locations, and the amount of targeting options, organized by city, zip, etc. So feel free to pause and compare. Moving on, another key aspect to consider is connection protocols. There are a couple of those that you need to know about. The HTTP slash HTTPS protocol is ideal for browsing and data scraping because it supports encrypted traffic. On the other hand, a SOC 5 connection protocol is more versatile and good at handling complex tasks like streaming and P2P traffic. Some providers like Oxylabs offer cutting edge protocols like Quick, which speeds up the connection while simultaneously encrypting the traffic. In short, Quick is my personal go-to here as it combines both speed and security for the best proxy server experience. Just a reminder, you can click the link in the description to get the best residential proxy out there and at a great discount, or you can just scan the QR code on screen. Speaking of security, there are a couple of crucial aspects that you should look for, but the bottom line is this, ethically sourced IPs equals secure IPs. If you were to purchase residential IPs from an unethical provider, you'd be risking legal issues, security threats, and bans. If you're wondering, but why is that? Well, an unethical provider may sell blacklisted, unstable IPs from shady sources like hacked devices or unaware users, and you definitely don't want to be associated with businesses like that. Providers like Oxylabs employ KYC, or Know Your Customer Policy, which identifies the identity of the customer. This ensures transparency on both ends. Another thing to look out for is transparency. 
If a provider claims to source IPs ethically, it needs to also be transparent about its sources. Some providers have partnerships with ISPs or platforms like Honeygain, which compensates users for sharing their IPs. With the security concerns addressed, it's time to briefly review the kind of residential proxies that exist. Here's a breakdown, starting with the rotating proxies. These proxies switch after each request and are ideal for web scraping and avoiding detection. The next ones are the static proxies, which are the opposite of the rotating ones. They used fixed IP addresses assigned by the internet service providers, making them great for tasks requiring a reliable connection. Another type is shared proxies. These use IPs that are assigned to multiple users, making them more cost-effective, but not as secure. Moving on to dedicated proxies, this type are exclusively assigned to one user, resulting in robust security and reliability. And the last ones you need to know about are mobile proxies, which are assigned for mobile devices and are ideal for mobile-specific tasks like app testing. The kind you end up choosing will obviously heavily depend on your specific use case, but hopefully that'll help you choose the right kind. Lastly, any proxy for complex tasks like web scraping is challenging. If you're looking for a proxy for use cases like this, having rock solid support to back you up will be tremendously helpful. That said, I recommend looking for the following benefits. First, cross-channel support, because it's best to have the option to get the help from various different channels like chat, email, or phone. Another thing to consider is if the support units answer 24 seven. You really don't wanna wait 10 hours to get an answer if you have an urgent matter to resolve. And lastly, if you're a big spender, a dedicated account manager could even be a good option. Granted, some providers don't have account management services at all, but I'd recommend keeping a lookout for this service. Oxylabs offers all of these benefits. Link in the description with the discount if you're interested. All right, let's do a little recap. The key takeaways are to choose the right residential proxy, make sure to evaluate the speed, security, and the IP sourcing you're getting. And whether you need proxies for web scraping, market research, or just staying anonymous, analyzing whether the provider is transparent and ethical should be a priority. So compare, research, and don't forget to like this video. Thanks for watching. Leave any questions you have in the comments below and have a good one.